Aloha and welcome to Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We are a weekly show that broadcasts from the ThinkTech studios in downtown Honolulu in the Pioneer Plaza. We air every Thursday from 2 to 2.30. We talk about success stories in Hawaii of businesses and individuals and organizations that help support the success of businesses. As we've all heard, there are challenges in Hawaii, but there are companies and individuals that have made it work and we highlight those individuals on this show. Today we have one of the older financial institutions in Hawaii, it's the Bank of Hawaii. Uh, over 100 years old, uh, Kevin Sakamoto is one of the senior uh, executives uh, at the bank, uh, and I believe has responsibility for the branches. So Kevin, welcome to the show. Thanks so much, Reg. And is that, that is your responsibility it at is, the bank, it right? It is, it uh, is. My responsibility is the, the strategy for all of our branches, our 69 branches throughout the state Very and, good. and the West Pacific. All right. And, and it's interesting, and, and I'm not going to dwell on this, but I worked at the bank many years ago, mm. probably 25 years ago, and it's wow. much different today it is than oh, it yeah. was back then. Oh, yeah. And hopefully, maybe in the second part of the show, we can touch on that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do yeah. that. But first, let's talk a little bit about you. Okay. All right. How, okay. Now, you've been in Hawaii all your life? Been in Hawaii all my life, born and raised. Went to school on the east side at Kaiser High School, so public school boy. Great. Very proud of that. Stayed home. Went to the University of Hawaii, uh, where I got a degree in finance. Well, my uh, my oldest son went to Kaiser too. All right, so he uh, played the football team. He, he actually was uh, he was called Reggie Baker, the touchdown maker. Oh, so nice. He uh, he did real well over there. Nice. It's a great school. Um, and so then you went to the University of Hawaii. I did. And I did. all you, the whole time, and you go to the mainland all. I or? did not. I did not. I stayed here and got my degree in finance, like I said earlier. And super. Um, yeah. All right. And then, uh, what, went right into banking right after school? Yeah, so the, the story is is that uh, after I graduated from the University of Hawaii, all my buddies were off to Vegas to blow off a lot of steam. <laughs> and uh, a week after graduation, I'm sitting in orientation at the Bank of Hawaii, wow. uh, starting there as a management trainee. So you had that career focus right from the get-go. <laughs> I did. Like it or not, uh, away we go. And I'm still here today. Very good. And and so yeah. orientation was that how did you get a position at the bank of hawaii how did that yeah. work for you yeah so uh part of the, the story is i come from a generation of bankers actually odd generation my father 40 years at brand x across the street uh -huh. those guys those guys and you know i thought he had such a great career he'd be home at four o'clock he'd be at all the sporting events for myself and my brother and i thought you know this guy's got a good job and lo and behold, it's not like that today, Reg. Well, that's old school old banking. Old school. Yeah. Old school. Yeah. yeah. But now, it, you know, you're right. It's a lot different. You know, uh, I was at the bank in the international division, and it was yeah. six days a week, and we would open in New York, and we'd mm -hmm. stay open until Japan. Wow. And so wow. it was a 20-hour day, and we wow. had people there all the time. Wow. Did that for a number of years. Then yeah. I went, and we, Bank of Hawaii bought Hawaiian Trust. That's right. And I helped integrate Hawaiian Trust into the bank. Yeah. Hawaiian Trust was old school banking, yeah, yeah. and it was a big cultural change. It, yes. it, it, does, it yes. isn't like that anymore yes. today. Yes. So you yes. probably work half days, what, 12 hours a day, 12 right? hours, that's what I like to call it. I call it half days, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you, you, you join the bank, and then how did it work as far as your career? I mean, you've obviously done very well. I mean, you've got to be one of the top guys over there now. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, it, was it a direct line? Did you go through different departments? Yeah. And how, how did you get Good your question. banking question. I get asked that a lot. So starting as a management trainee, you, you go through a, about a two-year program, and you go through credit training, formal, like, school training. So Good. just when I thought I got out of school, I'm back in the classroom. Oh, you never stop learning yeah, these never days. Learning. But I did a lot of different rotations. Hi. I did Aloha. I'm banking, what I'm doing today, but I did commercial banking, and I did some ad administrative work. But I took different positions. So although I've been at the bank for about nearly 24 years, I've probably had seven or eight different jobs within that career. But that's a great way to learn the business, yeah, right? Sure is, sure is. Yeah, sure you get is. To, you know, and there's a lot of, banking is not just taking money and maybe no. making some loans. There's a lot no. of moving parts to no. it. But that, that's a common question we get asked. And people ask you, you work at the, you work at the Bank of Hawaii, is, which branch do you work at? Yeah. But, yeah. you know, two-thirds of our employees are actually not in the branches. I was just going to ask that. You know, I guess the majority, as you just said, are actually not in the branches. That's right. They're back there doing all those other things. Yes, the banks all the do. other things. All the other things. As, yeah. as you alluded to and wanted to talk more about banking is changing. We have Aloha. a lot more investment in digital and our ATM network and 
Customers just want to bank differently these days, and we got to continue to invest in that and provide those services. Right. And, and so as you, uh, and, and I want to get into that, yeah. you know, and, and there's a lot to, that we can talk about, but getting back to the career aspects, you okay. know, because we do have a lot of students that watch yeah. this and people that are going yeah. through the educational mm -hmm. uh, system. Uh, and so you started yours, you worked there for 24 years, you had a lot of different, um, but if somebody was interested in getting into the, a banking career, yeah. what would be your advice to them? How would they yeah. do that? Good. Uh, we have a lot of different opportunities to get into to banking, whether it be Bank of Hawaii or the other banks here, which through the internship program where you get a lot of good exposure. Uh, a plug for the Bank of Hawaii internship program is we give the interns great exposure to a lot of things. They're not filing paper or doing grunt work. We, we give them real life work so they really get a flavor of the job. There's that and there's a management training program. So, you know, fast forward from when I started, uh, the program's been around for 50 plus years and a great way to get into the bank. Well, you've actually had some CEOs who started with the, Absolutely. the, the training. I remember when I was there, Larry Johnson yes. was one of those. Yes. He was a trainee. He was a teller for a, a period was. of time. He was. Yeah, he was. so he did very well for himself. He did. He did. Yeah, he so, did. Uh, and does the bank recruit at the universities? We do. We were at a lot of the career fairs. We're involved with a lot of the organizations. We host uh, days at the bank where we take mm. the group around to different areas, and we have present presenters come through and talk about the different areas of the bank so yeah. we're really engaged with the we're really involved well it's, it's a, a constant need to be finding good people absolutely I mean, and you've got a bunch of people working for you yeah. and, and you need to keep bringing in the, the new new guys in order to, to keep growing the bank and replacing the ones that are retiring that's and, right that's you know, right so it's a never-ending process it is we have 2100 plus employees wow. and and you're right, it's, it's, it's finding good people, and it's keeping good people, and it's getting our good people to tell others so we get more good people. Well, in full disclosure, I have a son that works at the Bank of yes. Hawaii, and, and it was very kind of you to make some introductions for that, okay. so that was great. No, so, thank, thank you. you. Robert's doing really well for us. Yeah, I, uh, and I tell him how important it is to continue to do well because he's <laughs> representing me, too. That's right, yeah. that's right, that's right. So a family name is important. Family name, absolutely. All right. Um, so I guess the bank has a lot of different type of training programs. So mm -hmm. once you're there, even, you know, when you're not new, as you go through the yep. banking career yeah. and you have to get different types of skills, yep. the bank is, is really big on training. We are. We, we have a program called our Pathways to Professional Excellence and different uh, employees are sponsored in there by their managers and what they go through about six months of uh, formal classroom training yeah. uh, on things like people skills, emotional intelligence, mm. presentation skills. They work on group projects as a cohort. Oh, and they also go on different rotations throughout the bank to just get greater exposure. Well, and that really builds a cohesiveness it it within does. the team. You know, it does. And that, that's a great program. It does. Although we're 2,100 employees, we want to perform like we're 5,000 employees. Sure. So it's the teamwork that does that. Right. Yeah. Oh, that, that's great. And, and, and you no, know, I said you were, uh, the Bank of Hawaii has been around for 100 years, but it's actually been... 120 years. 120 years. 120 very years. good. Yeah. So well before statehood. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's very good. Um, so as far as, you know, a, um, a, a career track for somebody, um, yeah. you know, the, being a banker means a lot of different things. It does. It does. You know, and you've got operational, you got investment, you got all yeah. kinds. I mean, there's got to be multiple tracks that a, a person. Multiple career. tracks and uh, a track that like your son Robert's on, uh, on the technology side, is, is a growing area of need for, for the Bank of Hawaii and for a lot of companies in general. Uh, I would venture out to say all companies are technology companies because that's a big yeah. part of, of their business, so that's an important track. Um, we're growing a lot in our data area and turning data to information to knowledge. Well, big data. So big data. Yeah. Uh, that's a big area for us, too. To, capture that information. I think I heard a statistic one time that said that the amount of data that's processed doubles every few years or oh, something. Yeah. It's just huge. It's, it's something mind-blowing like that. And we're not taking advantage of all yeah. that information. We haven't quite figured it out. I think some yeah. industries have gotten better at yeah. it than others, but there's yeah. a lot of useful information yeah. out there that we're just not quite that's tapping right. into. That's right. So hence the need for us to develop those areas and really find those those nuggets of gold. Yeah, no, yeah. that's that's a... And again, as we mentioned, this is a, a an evolutionary thing. Mm -hmm. Banking changes. Banking you know, changes. And a, a lot of people don't realize it, but it is an industry that that's, goes through cycles of regulation. Yep. Yep. You know, and you've got to have people to stay on top of that. We do. We do. 
our compliance department, our audit department is uh, quite large and keeps us out of trouble, keeps us in good graces, keeps uh, making sure we're doing the right things all the time. Well, and it keeps the regulators kind of, you know, away. You, know, you don't want them in the house no, if you don't need we don't want to be on their bad side. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and, but, you know, one, one important aspect that I think a lot of people seem to at least not appreciate as, as much as maybe they should is, but the money that goes into the bank mm -hmm. generally is not the bank's money. That's right. It's usually the community's money. It's the, the community's people's money. money. Where we steward the money, we care for the money, we keep it secure. You know, we have to be judicious when we lend out that money to yeah. make sure that we get yeah. repaid so we yeah. keep our depositors whole. So, yeah. You know, when I'm sitting on the desk with a client as, you know, a CPA, I'm, I'm helping the client try to find some sources of funds. And they get grumpy and say, well, the bank's not approving my loan and they're not doing it well. They have to be prudent. They have Absolutely. to be careful because Absolutely. it's not their money that they're, right. they're playing with. It, right. it's, it's other people's money and they've got to be protective of that. That's right. So I think people need to just appreciate that a little bit yeah. more. Thanks, Reg. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so... Um, the bank is going through some evolutionary changes. I guess the whole industry is, we for are. that matter. We are. So you talked about you started with the bank, or were with the bank 25 years ago. Yeah. Lots changed since then. I would imagine. So it's about the same tenure that I've been at the bank. And when I started, we had so much equipment in the branches to, to yeah. process checks, to file paper, and we just don't need that anymore. And we're digitizing a lot of the things that we do. Things are going to the mobile phone and mm -hmm. online. So. The business of banking is just changing at a faster clip than ever before. Well, and it, you see it becoming more efficient? Yep, definitely. Uh, quicker processing of transactions, uh, quicker, hopefully, loan responses, and mm -hmm. be able to get capital into the hands of businesses or individuals. Right, and yeah, I guess uh, a lot of what drives this changing technology is not the technology itself, but also the, the demographics, the customers, yeah. and yeah. what they look for and what they want. Yeah. You know, I mean, do we have a, a pretty sophisticated customer base out here that wants that technology? Yeah, yeah, there's kind of two schools of thought on that. Uh, to one point, yes, the customer preferences and demand drive a lot of that. But there's also the innovation that needs to come on the bank's uh, part to be able to offer up these services that customers do, don't even know that they would need. And once they find out about yeah. it, really like then it. And they can't live without it. That's right. We have reached a breaking point. Okay. We just need to go on a short break. But I'd like to come back and talk a little bit more about maybe the, the breakdown in the demographics of the customer base. Who sure. wants the technology sure. and who wants the sure. human touch? Sure. All right. But we'll, we'll do that in just a minute. Sounds good. Uh, this is uh, Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. I'm here with the Bank of Hawaii, Kevin Sakamoto, uh, talking about the bank and how it's evolved over the years. Uh, we're going to go on a one-minute break. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Chris Leatham with The Economy and You, and I'd like to invite you each week to come watch my show each Wednesday at 3 p.m. Live. Aloha. I'm Richard Emery. I'm with co-host Jane Sugimura of Condo Insider, Hawaii's weekly show about association living. The uh, purpose of these videos is to educate board members and condo residents about issues uh, relating uh, to association living. Uh, we hope they're helpful and uh, that they uh, assist in resolving uh, problems that uh, affect the relationship uh, between boards and their residents. Each week, Thursday at 3 p.m., we bring you exciting guests, industry experts, who for free will share their advice about how to make your association a better place to live and answer a lot of very interesting questions. Aloha. We hope you'll tune in. Aloha, and welcome back to Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We're here today talking with Kevin Sakamoto of the Bank of Hawaii, and we're talking a little bit about the innovation that the bank has gone through recently with technology. I guess, uh, you know, we've got a customer base that maybe has two components to it. One that's yeah. real comfortable with it, and one of it that's kind of like that, that human touch a little bit. I mean, how does the bank deal with that? Yeah, it's tough. You know, we, we want to make sure that we have services and channels that deliver those services that can uh, fulfill the needs of all customers. So we were talking during the break about the millennials and their, their love for technology and we're putting a lot of dollars and investments in our mobile banking, online banking. Uh, what we recently introduced is a way to take out money with your mobile phone and not needing a debit card. You know, back uh, in the old days, that <laughs> would give me the, the cold sweats. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. And we have, 
we have the uh, more mature demographic, the baby boomers that uh, like to do things old fashioned way. We want to do that too and take care of them when they come into our branches. So uh, we want to offer it all. Well, and that's good. And, and you know, it, it, the bank should be applauded for trying to, to do all of that. But it's not always the most efficient. You know, not sometimes always. you've got to have the staff to do that. Yeah. You know, I, might, I have a son, I think my two younger sons, uh, don't go to the bank yeah. very often. I think yeah. my, my one son who lives in San Francisco, works in San Francisco, is the headquarters for Uber and Facebook yeah. and all, all that. Everything is done through technology. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't think he's ever been in a bank. Yeah. You know, um, I, on the other hand, I'd like when I have my paycheck or I've got some money and I'm giving it to somebody, I yeah. want to see who it is that I'm giving it yeah. to. Yeah. And we have clients just like you and just like your, your son in San Francisco. And uh, a, a phenomenon that we, we've seen a lot with the demographic is that and the younger generation, the millennials, uh, the objective there is really to teach them about banking. Mm. And on the baby boomers, it's really to teach them how to bank more efficiently mm -hmm. and digitally to make their lives easier so they can, you know, spend time with doing things that they love to do, like spending time with their grandkids or their hobbies. Or, you know, and as we talked a little bit earlier, the, uh, the evolution of finances in general, the financial industry and, and financial transactions mm -hmm. and all the different options that are available. It's hard for any layperson, if not impossible, to know all the different that's options. Right. You've got right. to go to the professionals where that's their business that's right. to help find that product mix yeah. that works best for them. And, and you've right. got people to do that. And we've got people to do that. And uh, we are talking uh, earlier that we just opened a, reopened a branch in Pearl City, which we I guess is our first branch of the future. We call it the branch of tomorrow, which has more space available to engage with customers so we can do the things that, that you mentioned, teaching people how to bank more efficiently, giving them more space so we can spend some one-on-one -on -one time and, mm -hmm. and help them with all their needs. So that's really the whole crux of what we're trying to do with the new yeah, branch It sounds model. almost like a learning center it that does. they can go in there and learn about all these different options that they have. It does. Yeah, I guess, you know, I mean, Apple does that yes. and Microsoft does yes. that, you know, the banks do that. You know, it's, uh, and it changes. I, I know they keep launching new, yeah. new services all the time. Certainly. All the time. Always moving forward. Yeah. So how, how has that branch in Pearl City worked out? Is, is you get a lot yeah. of interest in that? Yeah, you know, so far so good. The, the customers love the, the look and feel of it. What we tried to do is spend a lot of time, effort in terms of making sure it feels local, mm. that it's just not cold and technology driven. Don't get me wrong, we have uh, upgraded technology, but we have a lot of decor and branding elements that are of Hawaii because we really want the community to feel like that branch is theirs. Yeah, well, and that, that makes it convenient. It makes yeah. them comfortable going does, into it because it I, I think sometimes, you know, the downtown branch mm -hmm. can be intimidating. Could be. You walk in through those big double doors yeah. and, and you see all these people running around. And it's, I mean, where yeah. do you stand in line? I yeah. see some of these machines over here and over here. You know, it's, you know, it, it's nice to have somebody greet you at the door and say, hey, well, how can I help you? Absolutely. And, and, you know, just shake your hand and, and sit down yeah. with you. Yeah. You know, it's nice. You don't get that very much these days. No, you know, and a startling statistic of a survey that I recently saw is that the millennials rather go to the dentist than go to the bank. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Nothing against dentists. Nothing against dentists. <laughs> they're, uh, they're good clients. They're good clients. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, but no, that's that's an interesting uh, analogy. I had not heard that. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and but I guess being a banker, I don't find it so mm. distasteful, but yeah. my gosh. <laughs> Somebody who's taking care of my money, I want to be there and, and get yeah. to know these guys. Which Absolutely. Is, which is a big boomer way of going in and knowing the teller and having them know you and, and you have that relationship. Yeah. Um, and I know back in the uh, the old days, you, the branches um, actually would house almost like all the, they could make loans and they yeah. can do a lot of different things. Uh, but, you know, we've kind of tweaked that a little bit these days and we've got more of a centralized type of location. It makes yeah. things a little bit more yeah. efficient and productive. It does. It makes it more efficient. And as we had the discussion earlier about regulation, it just makes things more consistent and making mm -hmm. sure that mm -hmm. we uh, have fair lending practices applied across the board. That's something that's right. very important to us and to the community. Well, they and people look at that real yeah. closely. Absolutely. So you got to be yeah. sure you document yes. that whole process. Yes. You know, now, then, you know, the, the bank 
you know, of course, there's a lot of consumers, individuals. Mm -hmm. They come in and do banking, and, and they take out the, the mortgages, and they, they do the home equity lines and all that. But you also have a big component, a big part of the bank is business-focused, yeah. too, right? Yeah. And, and small businesses, of course, are always looking for yeah. products and services. Yeah. What does the bank have in, in those areas that support small yeah. business? You know, we're so proud about how we support the small business. The Bank of Hawaii has been... Uh, working hand in hand with the SBA, the Small Business Administration, for a number of years. In fact, we were uh, named Lender of the Year eight of the last ten years. That's so impressive. we're really yeah. proud about that designation because what that demonstrates is our commitment to help small businesses with capital and funding yeah. to get started or expand their business. With our 69 branches, our, all of our uh, managers there are well equipped to help businesses. Uh, we help them with their business plans and understand what keeps them up at night and help them prepare for the what ifs. You know, and it's important to have that second set of eyes looking yeah, at things too, you know, because sometimes naturally small businesses are going to be a little optimistic. Yes. You know, they're, yes. they're going to go into business and they're going to become rich within six months, you know. <laughs> and and it's, it's, hopefully it works for them, but yes. sometimes it doesn't. That's right. And it's, it's nice That's to have right. a second set of eyes looking sure. at this sure. and, and bring them back a little bit more to right. what's realistic. Yeah. You know, we'd like to think of ourselves as a partner with the business as one of their That's key advisors way. and being able to to share good news, but also being able to make sure that they check the what ifs. Yeah, yeah, and there's there's a lot of what ifs, and, and they don't ever stop. I mean, it's stop. A small business is very dynamic; it changes all the time. Mm -hmm. And again, having that connection with the banker uh, really helps because there's there's going to be challenges along yeah. the way, little bumps here and there, maybe yeah. even some opportunities. Yeah. And having somebody to talk to to help guide. You know, sure. to what the best solution sure. is, is, is something sure. the bank can help with. Yeah, and other things that we help with in the small business arena is we put on a series of seminars called our Smart Money Seminars. Mm -hmm. We've done some on cybersecurity to protect themselves from, you know, all the, yeah. the hackers out there trying to get at their uh, proprietary information. Mm -hmm. We've done seminars for those that are looking like, should I continue to pay rent or... Maybe I should buy a place. So how do we figure out what works best? Mm -hmm. So we go through those scenarios. Mm -hmm. So we try to put on things that are really educational and can help the businesses. Right, and sometimes you bring in other organizations to help with that process we too, do. right? We do. You, you kind of host them in your branch. We do. We do. We, we have a resource days with the Small Business uh, Administration. We have experts on site to help uh, businesses with their planning or financing or whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's, uh, I guess, how would somebody find out, for example, if we were on Kauai or Maui or, or even, you know, out in Pearl Ridge, how would somebody find out where these yeah. courses and classes and days Good are going to be done? Good question. You know, we're going to shortly get the schedule up online on our website on www.boh.com, but we also post flyers and uh, posters in the branches there you to go. create some awareness of when we're having it, and it's usually very well attended. So it's usually a good idea to just stop by the branch once in a while oh, yeah, we and see, see what's it. going on. Yes, yeah, yes that's, absolutely. That, that's good. Uh, and then I, I know, because I go to the branch a lot, I mean, sometimes you even have specials. You yeah. know, there, there's... Uh, specials that you can do on mortgages, on loans, mm -hmm. on, on opening an account, and, and stuff like this. So there's there's a lot of activity yeah, that's going yeah. on. Yeah, and our bankers are very good at taking the time to ask the right questions, to make sure we understand the needs of our customers, to be able to make recommendations that really suit what they're looking to do. No, that, you know, and there's also another piece um, that, because I was in the international side, okay. uh, I helped people with their documentary collections and importing yeah. and exporting type yeah. activities and things like that. Does the bank still have something like that available to help people? We do. We, we have an international department that still does that. We have quite a number of businesses that deal internationally and um, we want to make sure that uh, their, their dealings and, and all that is very safe and secure. And oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, you, you, if you think there's scammers out here <laughs> trying to get your money, once you get into that international yeah, arena yeah. where the regulatory environment yeah. may be not as strong, you know, you got to be even more vigilant, you know, to make sure you don't deal with the wrong people. And, totally agree with you on that. And the, the bank can actually, you know, maybe not protect you, but can help guide you along the way. Yeah. Yeah, that's very good. Now, where, where does the bank, you, you, you said you got 69 branches. 69. All right, and some of them are not in Hawaii. Yep. So where are the ones that are not in Hawaii? So we have a couple of locations in Guam. We have a branch in Saipan and Palau. 
and also in American Samoa. All right. Yes, American Samoa. I used to go there all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's a. Uh, it was a fun place to go because they needed so much help. You know, and as a CPA, I worked with the bank yeah. after I left yeah. to help put together loan packages. Yeah, and, and yeah, yeah. It uh, it was a lot of fun, but it was tough duty. Tough duty. Tough you know. Duty. Um, but for people who are in Hawaii that maybe want to have another source of their product, not exactly an export in a sense, but they can also send some of this to Guam and to Saipan and sure. some other places. Sure. And, and there's facilities there to help them do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. We have relationships there. We have relationship officers there that have the relationships with the, the local merchants and business leaders, community leaders. Oh, the Chamber of Commerce. Chamber of Commerce yeah. that you're very familiar yeah. with. So absolutely. Yeah. Leverage our network. Uh, absolutely. No, that's it. That's just another reason to have that relationship yeah. with the bank to help yeah, facilitate great. this. Um, now, most small businesses, as I'm sure you know, uh, generally one of their challenges are going to be access to capital. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's sources that they can go to get some of this. But if they get to the point where they might be looking at, at maybe getting some bank financing, whether it be an equipment lease or a building, yep. you know, build out or something, uh, what's, who do they talk to? Do they go to the branch and talk to somebody? Yeah. or sure, Can you, you can, walk us just through that yeah, a little bit? Sure, sure. I mean, they can walk into any one of our 69 branches, meet with our bankers there. It doesn't have to be the manager, but it could be. And we'll walk through the process of putting together the, the loan package and uh, asking for the financial statements to, to support that mm -hmm. and really try and handhold our, our customers through that process. It's probably a good idea that when a, before a, a, a company gets to that point, they've got some track record, yeah. you know, a few years maybe of tax returns and financials, you know, something yeah. that, that shows the ability to right. repay. That'll help right. the process. You know, and, and absent of that is the business plan mm -hmm. and where you putting out some projections and the justification based on the projections, based on your market research and knowledge for your business is important too, and we can help with that as well. That's right. So it's, it's just there's so many different uh, positive reasons to have that relationship yeah. with the bank. So, you know, everybody needs to go down and they start do. working on that. They do. So. They do. Very good. You know, Kevin, we've, we've reached the end of the show, um, but maybe, you know, in, you know, down the road a little bit, maybe we can regroup again and talk a little bit more about how Love the to. branch uh, of the future is evolving. Love to. So it'll be fun. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We broadcast live every Thursday from 2 to 2.30. Uh, in the downtown studios of ThinkTech Hawaii. Until next week, aloha.